welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined with the beautiful Laura. Hey guys. The last time we did a collab together, we were in Bali, which was, oh my god, like seven months ago a now. A long time ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now she is in LA, so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to do another collab together. And in my previous video, I did a like tips to going through my closet. I have like tons of clothes sitting over here that I don't know what to do with. She's like this new little like DIY queen. <laughs> and I love watching her DIYs because they're like so fun and so trendy so I thought I'm gonna have her come over <laughs> and help me remake my clothes and make them more fashionable so I have a stack of band tees over here that I don't know what to do with so she's gonna help me distress them and make them more trendy so that's what we're gonna do yeah. and on her channel we just did a collab as well and it's like refurbishing or like recycling old clothes mm -hmm. so making them more trendy as well so like how to like what yeah up so. upcycle old clothes okay. is one of my favorite things to do and it's cool. a cool way that you can like transform old clothes and make them to something new so that's what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, so we did that over there, doing band tees over here, and I'm gonna have a whole new closet by the time I'm done with this. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started and distress some band tees. Yeah, let's do this. I have four t-shirts here that really need some like DIY help. So my first one is this t-shirt from Brandy, which is already kind of distressed around the neck. Mm, yeah. So it already has something, but again, it's just kind of boring on and it's oversized. Yeah. So I had an idea that we could like cut a little V, roll up the sleeves, and crop mm. it. So it'd be cute with like a leather jacket or high-waisted shorts like something yeah. just add a little bit more style to it yeah like, and I think that will give it some shape as well and totally. I find with band tees is I like them at first and then I just get bored of them right so it's kind of a fun way to change it up and have something new what we're gonna start with is cutting this little slit down the middle and what that'll do is just give you a little more shape and a little more vroom I guess <laughs> so I just thought these scissors would kind of be the perfect length and using chalk is really good for this type of stuff because yeah. it wipes off really easily then I'm just gonna take the scissors like that? Yeah, that looks good. Cool. And then what you can do just to get this chalk off just is rub it. just rub it. And then the next thing for this t-shirt is just rolling the sleeves, which is obviously very simple. Here is just cropping it, and I'm just going to crop it right underneath the writing. I actually have this really random t-shirt that I use as a guideline for all of my crop tops. It's like the perfect length on my body, so I use it for every time I cut a t-shirt. And the last thing is just adding like a few tiny little holes just to add a little bit wear and tear. It must be better just to use an X-Acto knife because you're just doing little ones. Because it already has this wear like around the neck as well, so it'll just be adding. It's very like Yeezy inspired, I feel like. Cool. I think this looks yeah. really good. And we can always add more when you try yeah. it on. Done. I have another t-shirt here and to be honest it kind of feels like a boy t-shirt because it is I actually stole this from Sawyer's closet it's not girly enough for me like I need to add something to it do you have any ideas <laughs> I do have an idea so I actually did this for a DIY on my channel and what you do is you cut out underneath the collar and do a triangle oh, okay. and so wearing a cute bralette underneath it kind of Fun. shows a little bit it definitely adds a lot of girliness to it really? and will make the shirt a lot cuter and more feminine so we're lazy and we don't want to move the camera what we're gonna be doing is you want to mark out the shirt and I like how we're doing this from this <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so funny. But we're, where do you want it? Like, how low do you want this? Like, um, I feel like I think that's gonna be too low. I think you probably want it like here. Yeah, cause like when you wash it, it kind of like starts. Yeah. To so somewhere. we'll just make a little bit of a mark there, um, and then you're good to go. Cool. <laughs> so it's good to try it on or lay down and have a friend mark it. <laughs> Once again, you just want to take something straight, having it come up. Uh, right underneath the neckline and so you can just draw a little line there exactly and you want to make sure that you're cutting underneath the neckline because we do want to still keep this and it's just going to be a nice little cutout we're going to be cutting uh, down underneath the collar here and then up and up like so this is actually a good thing you can use your exacto knife for because you need to be able to stick your scissors in there exacto knives are scary i know and then you can just cut all the way down along that line so the last step is you want to cut along the collar there. So we'll actually just trim this up into the neckline a little bit more. That's going to add a really girly touch to it. I think this looks really good, so let's try it on. Cool.
Okay, so for my third t-shirt, it's just this Doors t-shirt and it's actually pitted really bad. So I can no longer wear it as like an actual t-shirt. So I had an idea that we can like make this a little bit like more girly and tie, like do a little knot right here. So we'll like be cutting off the sleeves and to do a like, uh, like a big oversized knot and yeah, just make it more girly. I think it'll look really cute. Yeah, and it's like one of those t-shirts that's really soft material, so mm -hmm. it'll lay really nice when we cut it. For this t-shirt, we're just gonna cut off the sleeves and then cut at the bottom and tie a knot. I'm really weird about this. Personally, I don't like it when it comes right around here. I like it yeah. to be more of a straight line, so okay. it just gives it just a little bit, so if you yeah. wear a bralette, it'll work. Oh, okay. So, so just more of a straight line right at the bottom. Yeah. That's all. Just like just so it's a little straighter. Yeah. Look at that. Easy peasy. Yeah. So for this one, I think it would be a cute idea if you kind of do it at an angle and then cut up. So that way the shirt, yeah. when you tie it, kind of gives that rounded around the chest look. Kind of just freehand it. Moment of truth. Then the, what we can do to cut the back is we can actually just roll this up like this and use that as a guideline to cut off the edge so it's going to be nice and straight in the back. You win! <laughs> it's a race. The last step, we're just gonna be doing a slit like right up here. Yeah. Probably until this spot. Okay, perfect. You'll just be able to tie it. Much cuter. I'm actually excited for this one. So this is the last one. Um, it's a Guns N' Roses t-shirt and it kind of has like these purpley pink roses on it. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of like make it a little bit more like grungy. Yes, and like yeah. do like tank tops so it'll be sleeveless and add like mm. tons of holes and just add a ton of texture and... Yeah, I think I've seen this shirt like that in stores. So it's cool okay. that you can actually make it at home and take an old t-shirt and really transform it. So. Cool. So for this last t-shirt, I am going to use my handy dandy random t-shirt that has been my outline for years. It's really easy to when you already have an outline of a shirt because yeah. it's you know it's already gonna look good and you know how it fits you. Yeah. And then are you also wanting to crop the bottom? I do but I feel like I might make it a little bit longer just so we yeah. have more room to do holes. I would maybe even do it a bit longer because then if the hole some of the holes fall down a bit. Sure. Yeah. Thinking if we want to distress it so there's some exaggerated holes at the bottom, we want to cut close to the seams and we can stick a few holes here and a few holes there and then we can actually pull on the fabric down in order to loosen them up from the cool. shirt. I think we can always just use an X-Acto knife for this because even the way it's ripping, because look at that, that looks oh, yeah. awesome. Wow, this looks really good. Yes, so X-Acto knife for this one is definitely the way to go. So then if you just pull it a little bit, it's going to fall down and look really distressed. I feel like this is one you might need to do a few on the back as well because yeah. the bottom is going to be so distressed that you need Yeah, you need something to match it. Yeah. It's crazy like when you're like starting to get going That's, you're like, okay. I, you cannot you can't stop. It no. becomes like an addiction. You're like this is so much fun. So the next thing we're going to do is attack the neckline. I've been wanting to do this to my band tees for <laughs> so long. Do is just check the back side and just add a few more there as well so that way it matches the other side. Done. Well, loves, I hope you guys enjoyed these little tips on how to distress band tees because now I have some really cute clothes and I'm excited. Be sure to check out Laura's channel because she does so many amazing little DIYs. But yeah, be sure to check her out and give her a follow. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Oliver, what are you doing for the collab? We should DIY bow ties for him. How Nobody's going to want to watch that. <laughs> what if they have dogs? They would... Okay, no one's going to watch it. You should start a DIY dog clothing channel. That'd be really funny. Thanks.